I've always been interested in art all my life. Uh, all since I was a kid, I was always drawing and uh, I was really, really interested in kind of, you know, children's book illustrations and stuff like that when I was much younger. Uh, like when I was like six, seven years old, I was always listening to like different kind of story tapes and I loved like Astrid Lindgren and Pippi Longstocking. And uh, I would kind of put these tapes on, I kind of draw along to the stories. Um, and my mum was actually, um, she did she went to art school before she had me, but she didn't pursue a career as an artist, but she was always like really, really kind of pursuing kind of creative things within the home. And we were always crafting and making things. And she would kind of draw us when we were playing as kids. So I suppose it was a very kind of natural way of just being kind of immersed in kind of creativity. Um, my granny as well, she's a, she's a hobby artist as well. So she's always been kind of painting and she used to have this kind of she still does kind of has this kind of salon hang of like all the paintings she ever made in her apartment. So it was just really lovely to just kind of be like immersed in kind of creativity. But I suppose living in a kind of small town, um, I wouldn't have um, I wouldn't have had kind of access to like, you know, in contemporary art as such or like big institutions or anything like that. So it was a very kind of organic way of just kind of being creative and uh, making things constantly. And it was quite a natural thing for me to always uh, kind of consider that I was going to do something creative in my, with my life, but I didn't know like in what way I was thinking for years that maybe I'd become like a children's book illustrator or um, maybe like do design or something else. I just hadn't really kind of considered the idea of being like a full-time contemporary artist. But um, I remember at one point I did um, a school project in secondary school and I went um, to visit like an illustrator in Stockholm and I saw her art studio and just coming into like the art studio and kind of seeing the kind of feel of like the studio environment and like how creative it was and how much stuff she had there that she was making. Um, it just made me kind of really, really inspired and made me think that I wanted to one day have an art studio as well. Um, so when I went to college, then it was it was quite random actually that I picked uh, fine art instead of uh, instead of illustration it was just because I went to college in Galway and that's what, what was on offer um, so uh, but as soon as I enrolled in college I just realized that fine art was just so much freer and uh, and I loved the idea of kind of working large and working with oil and acrylic paint and stuff like that so, um, so from that moment on I kind of just uh, yeah I wanted to be a fine artist rather than anything else and uh, but I mean it wasn't completely straightforward either because I know in secondary school um, like I was very kind of focused on studying and I was good at school so a lot of my um, friends or people who kind of like uh, wanted to have opinions on things basically kind of like just assumed that oh maybe I'll just do art as a hobby and I'll kind of pursue some kind of like I don't know proper career and have like you know you know art as a little kind of sideline thing um, but I think it just was something that I felt so strongly about that I wanted to pursue so I was really kind of adamant that I still wanted to apply to art college and nothing else really interested me as much um, so I suppose it was a way of like always being creative and then kind of falling into fine art then kind of later on. So Octopus Salt Lake um, is part of a body of work that I exhibited at Kevin Cavanagh Gallery last year and uh, it was um, made in 2019. I was over in Sweden for two months in the summer. Um, so the way I work basically is that even though I'm based in Ireland, I'm very, very inspired by the area where I grew up in Sweden. And for the past 10 years, I would have kind of gone back there and done research and then I bring that back to the studio in Ireland. Um, it's something that kind of draws me back there. And I think it has to do with uh, the feeling of it kind of representing my own inner landscape in different ways. When the first lockdown happened in the spring of uh, 2020, um, I was just in a very kind of productive mode. I'd just been at the Irish Cultural Centre in Paris for two months in a residency and I was preparing for for a solo show at Kevin Kavanagh Gallery, um, actually the show that the Octopus Salt Lake was then in. Um, so the show obviously got postponed and everything else was kind of up in the air and I had no access to my studio. And, and it was very kind of strange at the time for everybody, obviously not knowing what was going to happen. Um, so I suppose the first few months of, of COVID um, had a very big impact on me in terms of like not knowing what was going to happen. I had two planned exhibitions that got uh, postponed indefinitely and, and I had no access to a workspace or anything like that. Uh, but then thankfully the exhibition got to happen in uh, August of last year and uh, it was supposed to have toured to the Bern College of Art. Um, now that was postponed as well, but uh, thankfully that exhibition is now going ahead at the end of October this year, but it's not going to be a touring exhibition anymore. It's going to be a complete new body of work uh, with a new title and everything else. So it, it's just I've made work since, so it's not going to be the same show anymore. Um, but I suppose, you know, I'm very grateful as well that um, I've got Arts Council funding to kind of keep me through, you know, the year um, in lockdown, because that has meant that I was able to keep painting and keep uh, thinking about my work rather than, you know, not. 
Um, so um, I've also like created a whole new body of work through this period of time. So I suppose, you know, in some ways I've been very productive, but in other ways, obviously it's been very strange because you don't know exactly how things are going to go and you don't really see many other people. And even though things are, are getting better, obviously, it's still a case of like, you know, it's been a lot of creating in solitude and not actually having that many human interactions, which, which eventually becomes a little bit like you exist in a vacuum almost. So it's, it's nice that we're coming out of that. Being in the Arts Council collection is, is a great honour, to be honest. Um, it's something that I was kind of thinking about for a few years, actually, before I joined the collection, that it'd be something I'd love to be a part of because there's so many great artists represented in the collection and it's one of the key collections in Ireland, obviously. Uh, and also because of having gotten Arts Council support in the past, um, like the way when I got the Next Generation Award in 2017, for example, it was a huge uh, kind of turning point in my practice. Um, so that's why it's really, really nice to, to, to be a part of the collection now as well.